Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Asar and I'm going to show you my last SRS race, sim racing system race in Assetto Corsa in this Japanese on this Japanese track in this Japanese car. All JDM today. So fasten your seatbelt guys. Here we go off the line. We're trying to make a fast start. Some guys weren't so lucky to do, do the same as we did. Trying to squeeze between people and trying to keep an eye on this red arrow not to touch any other car and making so many good positions on the start. I usually am so like conservative on the first. Look at this side by side, it was really nice. Some guys are off track. The, some guys are winning the battle against me, but it's really okay because I'm really satisfied that we are all still safe two guys were out unfortunately and the guys in front of me had to check a little bit so I, I, I could have more momentum than him he late braked let's see if I will have better momentum than him we had some contact but we are both still safe side by side and also behind him behind him taking this draft I noticed that this car takes good, very good draft and makes very good momentum if you were only very close behind the car unfortunately we lost the guy who was battling against us I mean wonderful start we made like I don't know like more than 10 positions maybe you can go to the playback and count continuing this race is going to continue for like 20 minutes and I think as far as I remember, the, the the last few laps of it where the action happened. I just love driving this Honda. I love all Hondas to be honest. Especially when the VTEC is in yo. <laughs> so let's squeeze that soft motor or engine if you are in America many many decades before the VTEC was invented the Heli Corsa shows you that there are cars next to you but there aren't very nice side by side I can see in the mirror I hope it will end okay so two green Honda cars one eye <laughs> On my way and one eye, one eye on the mirror also. I like close racing, I like clean racing, I like racecraft. I like these older cars where you can correct yourself. Just don't kill yourself if you did a little bit of mistake. You can take the corners like many ways and correct if you think you are like speeding a lot. Unfortunately, this genre, if I can say, is dying from the sim racing, no one cares. I watched all the, the, the sim racing expo 2018 ADAC in Germany and all those fancy motion sim rigs, none of them had a manual gear shift stick. All of them were only like paddle shifts or flappy paddle shifts behind the, the wheels I don't know why no, no, not so many people care for the edge shifters and, and this is an indication that, that uh, less people are getting interested in one man off-road but he was really a respectable guy he respectful I, sh I should have said because chose to, to to withdraw from the race instead of reversing into us and then blocking us. I can see in the mirror that not only me, the guy in front of me and me also like survived this but also like at least four cars behind me survived this. If he decided to rejoin the track, all of us will pile up like never did make out. Is it time yet to, to 
put my eye on the on the guy in front of me or not yet. I remember I was so patient. I did not rush to do the overtake. And I said to Corsa doesn't show you what lap is it and what time is it. At least in the replay, at least in my settings. The guy behind us is very very close. 0.2 seconds. I'm sure he will do the, the I wouldn't call it the dive bomb, I would call it the attempt. He will try. He's side by my by side with me. In the inside of the, of the turn one. He could not manage or I had good exit or maybe he had to check out to back up a little bit because it's impossible to go two cars in this chicane. So if he checked up and if he considered, considered not making an accident, I would pay, res pay respect to him. It's the wise thing to do. Wow, very nice battle in, in my mirror. I have only one mirror and that's funny. And I don't know how it sticks. It's Look at the mirror in the middle, it's like really weird. I don't know if it sticks from, from the, the roof of the car or... Let's focus, because the, the guy behind us is closing the gap. 0.3, 0.2. To be honest, if I was 0.2, I would do the, the attempt. I, I did a little bit late break, or the guy maybe backed up to fight another day, but he's still very very close, 0.2 only, but there's no gap to go. I will of course close the inside, the guy in front of me goes a little bit wide, a little bit slower, the guy behind me is really close, I can see the red arrow, what, where is this guy guys? You don't know but I know. Or maybe exactly nothing happens. I'm so close to the guy in the front. I can see the red arrow. It's only 0.5. Will I take his draft? Will I have better momentum? 0.5 seconds between me and him. Come on, with just one more horsepower, and I can do the overtake. It's interesting, the guy behind me is really close also, I'm sure he will do the, the, the attempt. Let's see if he's gonna try to attack, but he's not. I can see him in the mirror, so I don't need right now to close the inside. I can take the line which is closer to perfect, because there is a little bit gap. I was so close to the guy and I had to go to the outside and try to, to switch places with him. Go exit tight. Also here trying now I'm I, I reserve the place for myself. He's trying to close but he's trying to close but I I am squeezing a little bit inside in the inside. But of course oh my god no this is like not good. I cannot join, there are cars on the track, I cannot cut them out, I lost a lot of time. You know what you feel in a moment like this. Tell me guys what you feel, what would you feel, would you, would you have the same uh, ambiance in French, <laughs> the same motivation or would you just be frustrated if you withdraw from the whole race. Of course I would be a lot it will be a lot of frustration. I just don't want to waste your time guys by by playing the, the incident back again. But we can all watch the replay again and and, and know why it happened. To be honest, I'm really curious to know. It's happened like here, maybe? Here, exactly. Let's see another camera because when you see other camera, you know, maybe it was your fault. But from my cockpit, it's 100% someone who, who came, uh, who hit me from behind and screamed me. 
Let's see, maybe I will time roll. So my advice for you guys is to watch. Oh, I don't know if he was he was like really so fast for the for the corner. I don't know if we could make the corner or not. Let's try to watch his. say it's an incident you should have been more careful let's make it play it really 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 slow he could avoid me and go a little bit to the outside why is he going to the to the curb to the to the to the to hit the 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 apex as if there are no two cars next to him and bank let's go ahead so <laughs> the same thing again i'm gonna talk about what you what would you feel when if, if this happened to you if an incident like this happened and you lost I don't know, I started like maybe 20 something, 21 or something and I could make improvement until I became like maybe 6 or 5 or something but then I lost too many positions Checking the curve here is not a very good thing not because of the balances, it, it, uh, it upsets the balance of the car but it's maybe slows the car down because of I think so this curve I noticed it's it, it's uh, it would be faster to flip it maybe to be honest I this is only my, my second time I race on this track I did not do any testing sessions or anything to be honest so I don't know the the, the perfect racing line here I might ask my friends who has been in the GT Gran Turismo where into, into GT and did a lot of, of races on, the, on this Tsukuba Tsukuba I can see it here circuit the Japanese one I think this mod is copied from uh, Gran Turismo because I can see the, the announcements of Gran Turismo everywhere here side by side with many uh, Japanese brands Yokohama Bridgestone tires Dunlop also, but I mean most of them are Japanese here The ones in my age who watched who watched Formula 1 races when it was Bridgestone against Michelin two tire companies and then Bridgestone was like a monopoly it was the only one responsible for all the tires and how Michael Schumacher was lucky to be honest the Ferrari and the Toyota maybe they, the only ones who had Bridgestone and then it was easier for them when, when all the teams switched back in the days I don't know if someone in my age who goes or are all the same most of the same racers are, are younger now I don't know but I mean the the, the, the younger generation are like more into Forza, maybe the crew, Need for Speed, GTA, like these things like that where maybe they find them more fun but I cannot tolerate meanwhile I got closer to the car in front of me and this car isn't broken or anything but I think oh my god we I'm sorry, his name is Harry, I'm sorry for the punt, but make just to make you not frustrated or something, I can show you my here with the mouse that I really checked up and I also used the brake not to, to, to punt you. Look, 
I was braking so nothing I could do more. You have been really, really uh, slow here because of some drifting or something action. It seems like he is uh, suffering and it seems like I have much more speed than him but I don't want to rush and to, to end his race and mine so I can wait and take the, the good opportunity I think it took me a couple of laps to overtake him it's, I don't remember very well so let's sit back and watch what's gonna happen interestingly many people are taking lines different than mine in, in this uh, last turn maybe next next uh, lap I can show you I'm not saying that my my uh, line is the best or something but my line is different from everyone else and I'm sure they know better maybe people like they know the track or they trained before on it so but this is something I noticed that Everyone is taking a wider line than mine. I am taking a, a, a tighter line and I'm hitting, although I'm taking a, lot, a tighter line, but I'm also hitting a later apex. They, these people like running really wide on that, on that last turn. But at the end, we are having the same momentum and the same top speed at the end. This is what I noticed. Maybe the guys who know most, I have friends who know better, maybe I can ask them about but it's not that important now because maybe that was the last race in this very beautiful car and on this very beautiful track behind this guy and taking this track and taking much more speed will I make the overtake with us as I told you like they, they take another line in this last turn so this is why he prevents me oh it's a very dangerous move we defended the inside and very nice action happened of course I will not push him or anything so if he took the inside I will try to take a, a wider line and I know that nothing much will happen but just hopefully it's better than to, 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 to break and be very slow I do this they call it like a fake attack or something from the outside having much more momentum but I was forced to check up here is it called check up in English when, when you like lift the throttle not to hit the one in front of you I had a, a, a tighter exit than him but he was faster so once again I'm, I'm just 0 0.2 seconds behind him 0 0.2 tenth of a second behind him He's defending the inside, I'm trying to, to take a different line. My line is different, as I told you guys all the time. Let's see if I can have some speed down the straight. Not here. no, he was faster. Oh, you look, he's locking the brake and going so wide, and I'm taking a very tight line, and he's closing the, the, the gap, so... What am I going to do? Nothing, I'm going to be impatient, and fight another day he's so slow here I don't know where to go he's pushing me to go like to the outside or something I know it's useless but what options I can have is really slow here I will wait and find the better the best opportunity to, to overtake him I can see also two other cars are waiting now he went wide and I tried to go really tight, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know guys, look what happened. So I'm going very very straight. Let's see, It's make, it can be my fault, but it feels too much like he drove into me, he, drove, he went to the right, why not to go straight, let's see. Oops, let's watch another cam camera. So, it feels like he went too much right without any, 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 
I mean, even if 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 I wanted the position, I wouldn't go right. In that case, I would pull him with me. <laughs> he would have pulled me more and gave me more draft coming in front of me. I don't know why he decided. You guys can, can tell me why this happened. So, let's go on. And we can see some pump draft from the guy behind. One casualty, the rest are okay, we are still okay. I put all the, the graphics on, on Epic, by the way, so I think we have been overtaken. <laughs> Very nice overtake from the outside, while I was wasting my time uh, drifting and doing silly things. He was more smooth and, and he could overtake. Seeing the Japanese flags here remind me with the World War stories. One hour is coming from somewhere off track. I don't know what he was doing out there. It's still slow so I have to go between these two cars. No gap to go in. Oh my god. Did I do something wrong here, guys? Because at the end of the race, someone called Chris Saucier. Chris Saucier, I think. He said, as are you are a dirty driver. So let's analyze this. I believe I didn't do something very groove, big uh, mistake, but it's not always what we think about ourselves. Let's take another look. guy is drifting I mean yes I should not never overtake now because it's his, his uh, because it's his corner he entered the corner he has the right to choose his line but I mean what if he lost control and and was really really slow so I cannot even have time to break He was drifting guys, he was drifting and being so slow, how can I avoid him? I'm sick of that guys, <laughs> to be honest I'm sick, I have never taken anyone out, almost in my life. Now it's very 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 close action here, one behind me and one in front of me. We are already like fighting for some positions at the back, I don't know where we are now. Let's say 10th position or something. I think it's wrong to take this curve. Because you know like the guys are being faster than me and I when I go over the curve. Anyway like you can feel free to take the line you want in this car just be yourself. Drive smooth or even overdrive and drift won't make big difference. I think so, this is my, my understanding. But I love these cars. I love the older cars. These developers. The ones who make uh, Sims Studio or something I'm not going to mention. These guys always keep thinking about us. We guys who like those older cars and older tracks. Historical vintage. Those cars feel mechanic, like they don't feel really crazy and really aerodynamic. And as I told you, like you can have a little bit of, of contact. I, I'm not saying that I like contact or anything, but I mean this. It doesn't kill you, like while you when you are driving a Formula One car, any mistake will 100% kill your car, will destroy your car. So, not only this is the reason, but the main reason why I like these cars is like you can feel weight. You can feel their weight when you are driving them, you can feel their force feedback, you can understand their dynamics. Nothing is, is uh, 
suddenly. Comparing, for example, let's say about the, the Porsche GT3 or SR, it's called, and a set of Corsa. Go full throttle and, and go on a curve on the outside, and you will, like, sometimes you suddenly spin worse than this. If anyone touches your car, it will go like a, 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 a soap on, on water, on a wet. It will be really slippery, uh, this Porsche. So, very nice overtake here in the inside. I mean, this overtake was, was directly before the end of the race. I'm gonna pause because the race was over. I don't know what to say, good race or bad race or anything, but I enjoyed anyway. Although it hasn't been that clean. And by the way, my best lap was my last lap. <laughs> That's nice. To finish with the personal best. B. P. B. Yeah, to finish and to wrap things up, I just would say that I would really like to have those kind of cars in let's say a set to Corsa 2 and in any next version or any next mod that is going to be released not only in a set to Corsa or R Factor 2 or race room or anything I would like to, to drive those cars where you can you have to be really good driver to control the turbo catch up effect the boost that comes suddenly or something you can feel very good mechanic movement into them you can understand why they oversteer or they not it's not only this Honda but for example I can give you the, the for exa an example about the, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta what is its name I'm not so good at names the the, the Alfa Romeo like the, the, there's an old one without any ABS without any ESP any assists it was renewed like uh, a new version of it but it's uh, like almost identical in shape and many things to the older one I can tell you for example the 90s DTM those things will never die everyone likes them but I hope that it will be more focus on those cars thank you guys